Hello everyone and welcome to episode 103 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. A couple of weeks ago I spent a long time creating a pretty in-depth tutorial about doing character modeling. So it's a two hour video and it takes you through every step of how to model a character, how to morph it into other characters, how to create the armature, how to rig it, how to animate it with keyframes, how to export it to Unity and Mixamo. So now I'm actually going to put my practice to the test myself because when I created that video I created 100 characters to go from. So I want to revisit that now and see how much that practice has given me in terms of speed now. So some of the past episodes of the 10 minute modeling challenge have been featuring some low poly characters so I think I'm gonna have a stab at it. I don't know if I'm gonna create one character and rig it or if I'll create a bunch of characters again we'll see where it leads us. And new this week is that I've actually added this little uh, thing on the left here because when I created the tutorial video someone said it would be good to have the shortcut keys showing and why not? I've got, got screencast keys running so you can see everything here in bit massive tech even I can see it since I still haven't got any glasses. But so you've got the screencast keys here, but check out on the left here. I've just got a simple text document and in a viewport here and I've just typed down the ones I use the most so you can like come back to those. E to extrude, that's the scale. Ready? Steady? Go and we're off. Yep, it's counting down. So I'll do automator straight away. Control one on the numpad, eight, select everything in tab mode. Oh, edit mode. And there we go. And then we'll do E to extrude here, the pelvis, move this one in and then select this face, E to extrude the leg, S to scale it down, control one on the numpad, rotate, we'll do the cartoon character again, E to extrude, R to rotate, E to extrude, and scrub the foot, E to extrude. And we'll do ring select here, scale on the Y axis, E to extrude, E to extrude, get the shoulder, E to extrude. Why has he got like those weird legs? E to extrude. S to scale to do a relaxed pose here, like an A pose or T pose in between. E to extrude, R to rotate, S to scale it down. E to extrude, E to extrude again, scale on the Y axis. E to extrude, leave space for the thumb, E to extrude. And E to extrude the thumb and then control R. We'll do a loop cut here, scale that one. Let's alt click on this one, scale this one out. And I have to fix these legs. There we go, sorted. Control R, look at some loop cuts from geometry there. Alt click there to select and we'll do the head E to extrude. I'll do my normal cartoon head here. So I'll do E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, big head. We're going to do like the three character or three head high proportions again. Scale on the X axis, E to extrude, E to extrude and E to extrude. And pull this thing cheekbone out and then scale this one. And then we'll scale that on and scale this one. And I'm going to put Let's do the belt thing here as well. We'll select everything, go for a color on the left here. We'll do red. No, I'm gonna do uh, green today. I did red last time. No, blue. Let's make it blue. No, I've done that before too. Ah, I'm wasting time. <laughs> green. Uh, so pants, black pants. And select a few of these and then go for black there or dark gray. Yeah. We'll do the belt. There we go. And then here, control plus on the numpad. And then we'll do some sort of a skin tone here. And then we'll do the same for the hand. And that's good. G will be slightly different, but I can select one of these and actually go for the same one there. Or sort of, anyway. You can do snapping there too. And then we'll move this one out. And how am I doing? That's two minutes gone. So let's make a bunch of different characters. I'll do the eyes though as well. So G to move that. G to move this. Shape the head a bit. And there we go. And then we'll just do that. That should do actually. And then we'll do the eyes then. The way I normally do them. Shift D to du duplicate. I need to go into this disable clipping so I can scale this one down. Scale on the Z axis. Scale it down. And it's just E to extrude this one. L to select the linked G on the left and go for those colors. G. Get the head up a little bit. And there's our first character. I'll just duplicate this one and do, or I, I'll rig it. I've, I'll try to rig it. So we'll do Shift A. I'll control one on the. Let's see. This is going to be stressful now because rig takes a little bit. So Shift A. Let's add an armature, and then we need to go in here and then go to Viewport Display in front. Tab into Edit Mode. Shift Space G. So I get this Move Gizmo. Move it up to here. This is going to be stressful. Move it down. E to extrude. Middle mouse button to snap. E to extrude. E to extrude. That's the head. E to extrude this one and then Alt P with that one selected. Disconnect bone, G, G move it there, clavicle. And we'll do E to extrude the upper arm, E to extrude the lower arm, E to extrude the hand, move that one there. 
we'll do here e to extrude snap it alt p we selected disconnect bone move it to there it's going to be the upper leg bone there e to extrude and e to extrude and there we go and then we'll move this one control there i have to name these bones as well and get that little bend is important for the ik same for the elbow there and the hand and now we'll just uh, name these i guess so f2 pelvis this is going to take time f2 spine one f2 spine two f2 head and there's important f2 that's birds are so loud here f2 shoulder dot l very important oh i got a colon there and then f2 upper arm dot l 530 f2 lower arm dot l the crows here are so loud hand dot l they don't respect my recording time upper leg dot l lower leg dot l and f2 foot dot l i have to do the ik too so e to extrude and then alt p disconnect bone no clear parent on this one there e to extrude and then ah they, they have a convention outside clear parent f2 ik pole dot l and then f2 ik target dot l i have to set up the ik so here oh deform needs to be off on these bones i not remember uh, there we go deform off and you have to do it manually on both because otherwise it won't do it if you bulk select and then we'll do i know there's shortcuts for this but i can't remember them so i'm going to do inverse kinematics here so control tab into post mode how am i doing 430 it's going to be stressful uh, post mode there and inverse kinematics and we're going to do tar armature target armature pole and we're going to do uh, iterations oh no chain length two pole angle 90 and i've forgotten one thing here need to do control one and then shift control tab shift n a line along view axis control tab again pose mode and there we go that was correct and then we need to disable inheritance here for this one which one which is in this one relations and inherit rotation off and then we need to copy rotation here so this one copy rotation arm hello armature and we're gonna do target bone there and then we have to switch it to local space and local space and then we have to invert i think it's these two yeah that's it and then now control tab tab select everything a shift no 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 f3 symmetrize and then we've got three minutes to go so let's go control tab object mode select this one shift select the armature control p and armature deform and then I th I'm just gonna hope that it works. So let's. Uh, well, okay, I'll t I'll try. No, okay. Why didn't it work? So set that one, that one. Control P with arm with automatic weights. There we go. Control Tab. Good thing I tested it. So that's it. And now we'll just make some clones. I've got two minutes and forty seconds. So I'm gonna shift D to duplicate that one. Expand this one. Hide this one. Just do some different shapes. So I'll just colorize the top differently because then it'll look like a different person smart huh huh that's smart there we go and then we'll do uh, oh i've got do i have clipping disabled still yeah disaster okay we'll fix it so i'll just do alt said so some troubleshooting here fix it uh scale x zero i think i think that's it yeah we're, we're saved i have to do it to the other one too and they're all named cube as well but never mind so i had um, it's it's a disaster when you forget that clip clipping come on there we go scale z scale x zero so fixed okay that was wasted precious time i could have had more clones here but i'll do a beard on it because then it'll look different so shifty to duplicate scale G, E to move, and here we go, there we go. Disguise, number one, sorted. And then we'll do some different legs here. Control R, Control R. Maybe a different color, oh, some wider pants here, apparently. Scale X, Control Plus, maybe white shoes. Yeah, that'll make different. And then Control R, scale it a bit chubbier. 
uh, lay off the donuts. That's what I always say, but I always eat them. So let's do another one. Shift, oh no, I'm gonna use this one actually. So it has some less features there. Shift D, duplicate. We'll do a skinny guy too then. We've got one minute to do someone's skin here. I'll just put another quick disguise on. We'll do uh, uh, an orange top. No, orange I said, there we go. And then Control R. Okay, I'll have that one still. Control R, scale it down. Oh, I've got 20. I'm gonna have to make some crazy stuff here. And, ah, 40 seconds, come on. I can do it. I don't even know what I'm doing. Scale, scale, and then we'll do. Should I do the bigger upper body? Yeah, let's put some muscles on this guy. And a t-shirt. I've got 20 seconds to do a t-shirt. Control R, Control R, Control R, scale, and alt select, Control plus, Control minus, come on. 15 seconds, I can put a t-shirt on. Yep, I could. Let's make a different head as well, because then it looked like I'd... There we go. And big cheek there, and... Ah, uh, one second! Ah, okay. Dismiss. Okie dokie. So we got... Uh, <laughs> let's see what we ended up with. I ended up with three characters, I think, so... We got... Should we name them? Mr. Yellow. And... What happened here? Oh. What did I do? <gasps> I colored his clothes too. Okay, so let's just fix that one. Because he had a green top. There we go. So it'll be Mr. Green. And then we had Mr. Yellow. And then we had Mr. Blue, who's in disguise with white shoes. That is one wide beard. I might just fix this one in post a little bit like this. I can do that, right? Let's pretend that was within the time. Still looks weird. Still looks beard. All right, there we go. Uh, so let's see how they behave now. Control tab into post mode. We've got the thing. Yeah, sort of works. La la, robot man. And the hand, yeah. And we've got the IK, woo! -hoo! With the leg out. We got the weight painting issues here. Usually on these low poly characters, they go, so you have to tweak the weight, tweak the weights a little bit there. But overall, I think it works. <laughs> so uh, ideally, I would have liked to tweak it a little bit more before. So time constraints are good, but not always. And all of these should work, yeah, that one, and that one, good. Oh, gee. All right, should we see if it works in Mixamo as well? Which one should we pick? I think we'll pick this guy. Select these, file, export, FBX, selected objects, we'll do FBX Unix, units, Unix scale, I always say that. Uh, y forward and Z up, that's good. And then we do this one as well, if you want the material to come with it. Path mode, copy, and then include here, embed textures. There we go. Now we'll just export this guy to the desktop. It was Mr. Blue and export with a baked animation. There we go, and let's head over to Mixamo now. log in have a sip of coffee still warm after remodeling and rigging three characters so there's my old character and then upload character select mr. blue there we go 
And then let's do the swing animation again. I like that one. Swing dance. And let's speed it up. Overdrive. Put him into overdrive. Woohoo! Can I make this wider? No. This one's better, probably. I like how they've got enthusiasm as a slider as well. It looks like he's got a, a COVID mask now instead. <laughs> All right, folks, so there we have it. We've got uh, a little dancing Mr. Blue here now with his white shoes and a black beard, blue top and brown pants and a black belt. Ooh, sounds like a martial artist. That was a lot of fun and uh, I think um, it could have done with uh, obviously a lot of tweaking and it's difficult to make any specific characters. Let's say I wanted to make a police or a nurse or something. That'd take a few minutes extra, I think. So I think just the, the basic uh, shapes of the body and just slapping some colors on the clothes, that was quick enough. And, and a little fake beard on as well, just to make a little disguise there for him. I'm happy that I managed to get the armature in place and the IK takes uh, probably the longest out of uh, setting that up and name, naming all the bones since that's pretty required. The way painting worked is a good thing I did test it because uh, I was just gonna skip past that part but I've actually forgotten to apply the automatic weights when I did the D or the D form. I think the practice that I did for creating the 100 characters that I did for my tutorial that I made, I think uh, that uh, actually it solidified my knowledge a little bit like that. So if you want to create characters like these or even more intricate models of uh, come up with loads of cool ideas yourself, I suggest uh, if you can follow the speed of this tutorial, it's not a tutorial, if you can follow this pace and pick up everything, it's like a crash course in, in modeling and rigging the character. And if you want a really in-depth, step-by-step, uh, calmly paced uh, tutorial video, I actually did a full course on this and it's uh, up free for a full two-hour video here on YouTube. So you can head over to that one instead, link in the description. And every single step that I just did now is explained in detail. And you can even have a coffee, a, a Coke or something like that, or a Yulmust if you're in Sweden. Well, it's not Christmas there. And there's not even Easter. Probably they still sell Yulmust there. Anyway, just grab yourself a drink, have a, a, a good time and model yourself a bunch of low poly characters. This blend file and all the other 102 episodes of blend files are uploaded to my Patreon site. So you can go there if you want to download that one. It's going to be available for the tutorial tier and up. Also, head over to the Discord server and check out the weekly modeling challenge there. Arvid is hosting that every week. There's a new theme and you should be able to just pick up, chat to people in the Discord, have a good time, do some modeling, practice those uh, low poly modeling skills and have some fun with it. Also, don't forget to wishlist the Ultranova. I'm creating a game all on my own now. It's uh, I'm having a good time. I'm writing the game design document, made a lot of changes to it and getting some help. Uh, I'll be able to reveal some more details about that. But meanwhile, you can uh, head over to the Steam page for Ultranova Nova and wishlist that game if it looks interesting to you. I'm having a blast creating it and uh, it's fun to do everything like the characters, the music and everything. I'm heavily inspired by Turrican. I'm not gonna lie, I love that game and I'm actually playing that in uh, at the moment too just to get some nostalgic feelings back. So if you like Turrican and if you think that this could be looking like a pretty cool game, go ahead and wishlist it if you don't mind. And the link in the description is there as well. All right, that's going to be it for this week. I hope you had a great time and uh, make sure to do the modeling and I'll see you next week. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, until next time, bye for now.